Force matching is indexing the low spot on the rim with the stiffest part of the tire to get you the best possible ride. Failing assemblies are indicated by the warning pop-up, red rash tire, and red meter. Start the procedure by pressing the button on the outer arm. Follow the on-screen directions as necessary. Place the inner data set arm against the inside rim and place the outer arm against the outer bead seat. The edge on this rim is not conducive to a run-out measurement. Here is a rim that has an accessible measurement area for the outer data set roller. When the outer bead surface is not accessible, start the runout measurement by pressing the thumb button on the outer arm, then return it to its home position while keeping the inner arm on the rim throughout the runout measurement process. Once it is completed, the screen displays force matching results. In this case, the assembly could be improved significantly. To do this, mark the tire at its top dead center position, as shown on the screen. Press the start button to move the wheel to the next top dead center position and mark the rim. Now, remove the wheel assembly and take it to a tire changer. On a tire changer equipped with bead rollers, Use them to pinch and hold the tire in place and rotate the rim until the marks are aligned. Remove the rollers and reinflate the tire. Then take it back to the wheel balancer. Remount the assembly and recheck tire pressure. Lower the hood to remeasure road force. When it's finished, Verify the results and balance the wheel accordingly. In cases where the outer bead seat surface is not accessible, force matching without measuring rim runout will yield the best results. Press the outer dataset arm button, then select Match without rim runout. Verify the tire is inflated to specifications and then lower the hood to begin the first road force measurement. Next, position the valve stem at top dead center, and then press Enter Valve Stem. The assembly will servo 180 degrees. Mark a V at top dead center. Then press OK. Now remove the wheel assembly from the balancer. Deflate the tire, then break the beads. On this tabletop style tire changer, you may be able to rotate and align the V mark to the valve stem by hand if there is enough bead lubrication. Reinflate the tire and reinstall the assembly on the balancer. Once the wheel is clamped, position the valve stem at top dead center. Then press Enter Valve Stem. Recheck the tire pressure. Lower the hood to remeasure road force. When finished, the balancer will coordinate the optimal position of the tire on the rim. Mark the tire and rim at their top dead center position. Then remove the assembly from the balancer and take it back to the tire changer. Deflate and loosen the beads. Another way to match the marks is to lift the top bead over the rim. Once the tire is loose, rotate it to match the tire mark to the rim mark. Next, remount the top bead. Once together, 
you may need to adjust the tire to the exact position needed. Reinflate the wheel and reinstall it on the balancer. Recheck the tire pressure. Lower the hood to remeasure road force. Verify the results and balance the wheel accordingly.